Hey guys, welcome to a new deck profile, and Deck Pro has finally updated. So here we go. I give you Dark Magician Girl Chaos Dragons, which sounds so awkward. Basically, allows you to play Dark Magician Girl the Dragon Knight. Because I know there's a bunch of you who've been waiting for this deck profile, and I could have done it on DN, but DN looks like poop when you film it. I'm sorry, it's true. Deck Pro just looks so much nicer. So, um. Basically, it's six Axis Chaos Dragons with two Dark Magician Girls and two Dragon's Mirror. It allows for basically a top deck situation where you play the Dragon's Mirror after you go into your rank six and then you do stuff. And then Dark Magician Girl also counts as dark and you can banish her later in the game. It's hilarious. Anyway, <clears throat> if you want dual videos of this, just ask down below and we will get it because I understand the deck inside and out because it's hilarious. I, I play I play pretty much this, but without the Dark Magician Girls and Mirrors. Alright, so one Labyrinth Dragon, that's your Tefina target. It's okay, you know, if you draw him because he's a dark and you could just like tribute him, you know, that's a thing. Or you can send him for light pulsar food. One Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, two Tragodia, one Black Lister Soldier Envoy of the Beginning. God card is God. Uh, one Dark Arm Dragon, one Gores. I like running the three defense cards. It's just how I am. Gores is really good. Just, you know, even though it's just level seven, it's just really good. Three Light Pulsar, because Light Pulsar obviously is what makes Chaos Dragons Chaos Dragons. One Caius, <clears throat> because it is a good level six play off the Tefnut that gets you a Labyrinth Dragon and a Banish and a Monarch on field. Then you could dish out 2400 or go into an M7 and bounce this back to your hand or even the Caius. Anyway, continuing. Two Chaos Sorcerer, three Tefnut, two Dark Magician Girls, two Malicious, because it's just extra fodder for tribute summoning for te uh, Tefnut to get free summon or basically for Dark Magician Girl. Two Collapse Serpent and two Wyvern, Bus uh, Wyvern Buster. So, two of the dark, two of the light, three Lila, one Eclipse Wyvern, two Card Troopers, two Plague Spreaders, three Effect Failure, one Dark Hole, two Dragon's Mirror, one Charger Light Brigade, and two MSTs. I dropped the lore from this variant because, well, I didn't want to banish out Dark Magician Girl because of Dragon's Mirror, and Card Trooper may be swapped out for Mathematician for this build just because it allows you to, you know, just sense malicious. I, I I haven't tested it, so I went with what I tested, and honestly, I like this a little bit better, you know, just in theory, because, hey, plus, the, you know, like, just get four out of the deck. So, two Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight, because it is what the namesake is of the deck, and it's hilarious. One BLZ, King of the Dark Dragons, like Pulsar can bring this back. One Scrap Dragon, one Stardust. This is mainly me preparing for the artifacts. One Black Rose, one Cataster. One Gaia? One M7, that guy is a Thunder Charger. One M7, one Photon Strike Bouncer. One Gauntlet Launcher. One 101, Extinction Knight, Lava Lull Chain, and Digasto Emerald. That's the entire deck. If you would like a combo video or a dual video of this deck in action, just let me know down below in the comments. And as always, if you want to see more Dragons of Legend stuff, just let us know what you want to see from it. It makes it easier for us. So, anyway, I'm Ryu for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council. I hope you enjoy this deck profile. And I hope you try this deck out because it is fun but it's a little bit difficult to play if you don't know what you're doing with it because it's just a bunch of level sixes so anyway till next time if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button that like button and leave a comment because i like hearing back from you guys and it helps improve the channel so i will see you next video i'm ready for the Yu-Gi-Oh! council and as always thanks for watching peace